got to tip our hat to Bill Maida in Hawaii for his inspiration with a post this week that was reposted by Diamond Physique, so we owe a favor to them too. But he did a version of what might be called an old school sissy squat, where I'm leaning back, the knees, because of the elevation of the board, the knees are out of the toes a little bit, big load through that whole front quad and hip flexor region, up into the trunk and abdominals, shins are engaged. We want to try to get a little more 3D out of it before we start to go to, to load. So I'm here, I'm going to do an alternate hand reach. And even though that's a sagittal plane reach, a vertical reach in this case, it's going to cause rotation through the torso that the loaded legs have to manage. Likewise, if I go an alternate overhead reach, that causes the pelvis to shift left to right. That causes the man. Obviously, I can take the hands and get a little bit of sagittal going back and forth. And I'm telling you, that's a nice load through that region. Be safe with not getting a hyperextension or if somebody's body, so your client's body isn't happy in a slightly extended low back, you want to be careful. But that's, in terms of taking an isometric, getting three-dimensional value out of it, whoo, thanks very much, Bill.